what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this is going to be a video again talking about jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers you're born yes i know the image on your screen is exciting but just image that you have here i went out of my way to go do some digging more sleuthing not minding my business because i saw a lot of you guys commenting saying well what if this isn't real how do we know this is real they haven't announced anything that and I've seen a lot of you guys also say you reached out to Timo. He's telling me it's not true. It's just a rumor. Again, he's the director of the film. Two things. He's either he's either lying on purpose for obvious reasons because there's going to be a press release that's going to come out. Or on the other end, he isn't aware of this, which I also find to be unlikely, but not impossible. But I wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> but he's he's just protecting the secret. He's protecting the secret. He's not. You can't DM the director and then have him expect him to say yeah it's coming out on this date because then you're going to be basically undoing the the pending press release that's coming so like i just want to keep want you guys to keep that in mind as it relates to that but as you see on your screen here yes i reached out to fathom events myself got an email back they were trying to beat around the bush but ultimately i got my answer or got my the answer i wanted out of them they said that they were trying not to step on the filmmaker's toes by announcing early, but since the cat's out of the bag, the cat is out of the bag because, like like I said before, it's on AMC Theaters, and it's on Fandango, and it's on Adam Tickets, with the Fathom Event poster already listed there. So they said, yes, there is a Fathom Event planned for November, in which we know Jeepers Creepers Reborn is coming out November 2nd, and then tickets will also go on sale on September 24th. Tickets going on sale September 24th wouldn't be this Friday, but next Friday. So I know for a lot of you guys who feel like you've been waiting so long to have this ultimate sequel to Jeepers Creepers 2. Not to say that this movie will be of good quality to consider it the proper sequel to the second film. But we're finally getting something that we've been waiting for since 2003, I'll just say, I guess. So tickets going on sale September 24th and going off of what we see on the Fathom event site if you go through the Fathom event site and look through a lot of the events that they have planned there's already trailers attached to most of them I can't I can't find a single one that doesn't have a trailer attached to it if you do come across come across one let me know please because I didn't see a single one that doesn't have a trailer attached to it but my point here is September 24th being the day the tickets go on sale that could also be the date that we get our first look at Jeepers Creepers Reborn because that would be a tremendous way to of course just start hyping the film and not only that september 24th would be a couple weeks before its release in australia because australia is actually already confirmed to be getting the film on october 28th which is a week before the states will get it for that one night only fathom event and just to talk about this fathom event really quick i've seen a lot of you who think it's going to sci-fi right after and if it does go to sci-fi then i I, I, I mean, I really don't care one way or another, but, but my whole point here is just because something is a Fathom event doesn't mean it's going to the sci-fi channel immediately after. And I'll give an example of what I mean. So there was a movie tie or not even a Fathom event. I'll just say this just because a movie is getting a limited release or like a one night showing doesn't mean that it's going straight to the sci-fi channel afterward. And just to give an example, there was this movie last year starring Bella Thorne called Girl. That was another screen media project. That movie was not in theaters for a long period of time. That movie debuted at Fantastic Fest because I saw the world premiere. And then it was released in theaters later that same year in like November, I think, or maybe December. And it wasn't in theaters that long. But you didn't see that just showing up on cable television afterwards. Like, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what type of deals are already set in place. Yes, maybe this movie will debut on the Sci-Fi Network. But the other interesting thing about Jeepers Creepers Reborn that has me doubting that is these comments from Jason Raymond, who did actually give a update on the post-production. He said to another person named Ben Taylor, he said that one of the largest post-production houses under my supervision have worked on Marvel movies. So we are using world class teams and this film is made for a theatrical release. And I've also seen people talking about, you know, the way the creeper looks. And I'm there with you. I don't think it looks that good either. But a good associate of mine, shout out to you, you know who you are, not trying to get anyone in trouble. But they've just reminded me and I've also seen you guys in the comment section bring this up and in the Facebook group. A lot of different things can look bad when placed in certain lighting and different angles and the way you're portraying them on screen. This is what I was saying also about the Creeper in Jeepers Creepers 3. Jonathan Breck's performance was fantastic as always, but the look of the character 
He's not very menacing at all, nothing very terrifying about him, and it's not really because of the makeup, not to say that the makeup was the best that we've ever seen. The best makeup that we've gotten so far for this character has been from the original film. I do enjoy the tarry black look of the second of the second creeper, not the second creeper, but the look of Jonathan Breck as the creeper in the second film. I like the way he's portrayed as this black silhouette. Uh, but you know the third movie in and of itself the makeup wasn't on par with the first two movies and i see a lot of you already saying that the fourth film isn't on par with the makeup as it relates to the first two movies it's like the wrinkles and all these other things that we've seen in the past they're trying to do something a little bit more different and it's also important to accept the fact that this should be something that should be considered plausible since it's been 23 years later and we know that the creeper's appearance can change but then of course it morphs back into its original form but who's to say that he doesn't always look different after 23 years like who's to say that he doesn't always ad adopt a different look every 23 years this could just be his his new look for his rebirth that's coming and then also the other thing about lighting and camera angles how you portray things on screen will ultimately play out better so like the makeup and us trashing it, saying it looks like Lizard Man, a member of the Sinister Six, or Walmart Edition Creeper, all funny jokes. But seeing it on screen, that's why this trailer is going to be very telling. If you are positioning this better in different lighting and different stuff like that, because also the thing about it is there could be some visual effects that are added on to make this a little bit better. Hopefully not too much to the point where you can see that it's just horribly done added on effects to his face. But I would imagine that proper lighting, like a lot of people have pointed out to me, different camera angles, that'll make this better. Because if we look at Jonathan Breck behind the scenes of Jeepers Creepers, he doesn't look very menacing at all. The makeup, while it looks impressive, doesn't look very terrifying. Because again, you're, you're seeing him in all this weird type of lighting and different camera angles. It's taking away the mystique of what you're trying to capture in the film. So you need context to what you're watching. So I'm pretty sure the Creeper hopefully will look better on screen and... This rebirth look will be something we can all grow to, grow to like and appreciate if it sticks around for the pending trilogy that they have planned. But yeah, tickets for Jeepers Creepers Reborn will go on sale September 24th. That should also be the date we get the trailer. Again, that's just my prediction on it. It doesn't mean that's confirmed. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.